Well, the, the criollo uh, came originally from Spain, and they came from the region of Andalusia. And this was, you know, back there in 1496. And then in the, in the 1500s, these animals uh, were moved into Mexico. Other animals went uh, into South America. But the groups that we're working now, these groups came into Mexico. So there's three different areas where they came up. And one, like I say, to the Gulf Coast, into Texas, and up into Kansas. This one coming through here, and the others going into California. And so all this area was really, as we know, the cattle that were here, even before when in the early 1900s, when uh, the Jornada Range, uh, as we know it, experimental range was being formed, the cattle here were already Criollo. Since we were using these Criollos, uh, these are animals that can range a lot further, they can go without water uh, a longer time, they have that walking ability, and they're able to cover more land and distribute themselves a lot better, and that's because they use not only grass, but they use shrubs. The other reason why we're using Criollo cattle is that um, they've been naturally selected. Uh, they haven't had any human intervention for about over 300 years. We've shown that they are adapted to these areas. And they do very good. Uh, you'll go out and see these animals and you'll see they're in very good condition. Uh, one of the main things that we have here is that we don't supplement these animals. Well, we're trying right now to manage this animal as economically as possible. Uh, we want to show that this animal uh, is, as they're known, the poor man's cow. If you go throughout the Americas, they're known as the poor man's cow. And the reason they're, they're called the poor man's cow is that you have no inputs. It's very easy. And so I think one of the main things that we want to demonstrate here is that with very low input, we can still have some very good production. And I still think that there's a big advantage to the Criollo because of the less cost. And so it's an animal that the price of calf is a lot lower. And so to keep that animal and keep them on something range like we have here at the Jornada, which is desert, there's no other use for this animal. Uh, it doesn't have any value. And so uh, using the land that we have of no value and holding these animals on that land, to me, is, uh, is a, a good story. However, we must work quickly with these animals and really determine their characteristics and capabilities because they are rare and going into extinction.